today we are going to be playing my so far favorite Elden Ring mod. It's called the Summon Randomizer, and what it basically does is randomize all the available spirit summons in the game. Meaning, for example, if you pick up the lone wolf summons, it is not gonna summon the wolves, no 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 no. It's gonna summon something entirely random. Bosses, pigeons, rani. This mod also randomizes the amount of companions that will be summoned with any given spirit ash, basically just adding more to the chaos factor. The goal here today is to beat the game within a pacifist ruleset, meaning I cannot deal damage with anything besides my spirit summons. The only thing I can do is heal slash buff them with incantations and provide moral support. Oh, and I will also try to collect as many spirit ashes as possible just to see what kind of nonsense will we be able to get with this mod. And as usual, let the madness begin. Before we actually start summoning anything, we need to level up quite a lot first. The randomization of the mod made it so that all the current ashes that I have require a ton of FP and HP for me to be able to summon them. So we make a quick stop by the Knight's Cavalry in Kaled, smack the side of the wall with our pointy stick and watch him fly off into his doom. Enemy felled indeed. Now with our newly acquired runes, by totally legitimate means, we level ourselves up. And now we should be ready. And it's Jesus Christ, that's a hell of a party here right now, boys. I think we're using this one for Margit, what do you think? The squad is in the house, boys, the squad is in the house. Take this. The thing is, I'm almost dead from this, though, so I need to be a little bit careful. This guy's a little bit tanky, but upgrades are gonna be required here. This is not going to be enough to defeat Margit, although this is pretty good as well. And GG, Margit wins, boys. Okay, yeah, let's, let's go back to Margit immediately and test these things out. Oh, yeah, 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 baby. This is the Battle of Gods, the Shattering, again. Thou art of passing skill, yeah? Come on, Margit. Heal! That dude who fires arrows is doing the most damage right now. Okay, they're doing a lot of damage. Oh my god, Margit is dead. Bye-bye, Margit. <laughs> okay. After Margit's defeat, I want to take care of some miscellaneous tasks first. We go and grab both of the Dectus medallions, located in Caled and Limgrave respectively. We then move on to Lyurnia. On our way through here, we collect the Two Finger Talisman for some extra faith and ride all the way up to our favorite Turtle Pope. Oh, uh, excuse me, I mean Dog. He sells some great healing incantations, which will definitely come in handy later on. I decided that I want to grab another Spirit Ash to take care of our boy Godric, so we stop by the Stonefoot Catacombs and pick up the Wandering Noble Ashes. Here we also collect some upgrades for our future companions and clear out the stone cat at the end for the noble sorcerer ashes. During this round we will be going through a lot of these catacombs, but because they are really uninteresting in my opinion, I'll cut most of them out so I don't bore you guys to death. Just bear in mind that most of the spirit ashes and upgrades will be collected in them respectively. You? <laughs> oh we got a revenant and a misbegotten boys, oh my god. Well we've gotten a good spirit ash guys. The Warhawk is bombarding everything. Orbital bombardment incoming, it seems. Let's go, my boys. To victory! We also have a merchant, if you haven't realized it. There is a merchant over here, guys. Revenant, go! <laughs> Godric, I don't think you're gonna survive this one. <laughs> oh, the merchant. Where is the merchant? The merchant is just providing moral support. Okay, they completely broken Godric apart. Okay. I think the maximum amount of troops spawned is 5, although you can actually change that to be infinity if you want. Today I am the boss fight. Will the healing kill the Revenant? It doesn't, it heals the Revenant, okay. Misbegotten Revenant, I thank you for your support. I think it's safe to say that this mod is the best thing to ever exist. And if you don't agree, just keep watching because there is a lot more of this madness coming. With the Lord of Stormvale vanquished, we move on to the Yaltus Plateau. Here we immediately grab 3 things. First, we grab the Icon Shield in the forest, because wearing this will give us some nice passive health regeneration. Second, we go over to Mount Gelmir and collect the Golden Vow in the shack at the bottom. And finally, we go over to our boy Corin to purchase the incantation Great Heal, a much more powerful healing miracle. Now we go on a wild goose chase to collect more upgrade materials and a bunch of different spirit summons. And the results of our labor are quite fantastic. The hell? Is this a pigeon? Okay, the mod creator is officially trolling me now, guys. Somebody is trolling me from the distance. Where is, where is the camera in my room? What the... If the pigeon doesn't transform into Godfrey, I'm gonna be... The pigeon just flies away. It just books it. <laughs> oh my god, that's a big rat. Okay, oh, Krista... A goat. 
Let's go, land squirts. What the hell, boys? The land squirt. What the? <laughs> Hit him for crying out loud. I'm gonna get this guy to fight Godfrey in the, at the end of the game. Bro, Red Wolf is OP, guys. What the hell? Let's try these guys. That looks like a party indeed. That looks like a pretty decent party. I'm not gonna lie to you. This, these might be pretty good against the Red Wolf. It's time for you to meet your maker. In the form of a Revenant and a Misbegotten. And I'm gonna die immediately because I'm an idiot. Let's go, my boys. Yeah, they're just shredding him apart. But he's still he's still doing like a valiant fight against him. My god, the Red Wolf is just OP. Poison him and beat him up. Yeah. GG. I'm hoping the these guys are gonna be able to clear out the Renala phase one pretty easily though. Okay, the merchant is going into the action. Perfect. Yeah, they're gonna clear out everybody. Now guys, come to Renala. Revenant, get to Renala. Poisoner. These, these guys are actually being very cooperative with me. Guys, Renala. Hit Renala. I mean, they're hitting her. Alright, this is a common problem with Renala's first phase when using spirit summons. They simply refuse to target her. And during all that chaos, the Revenant actually manages to die as well. Which is just unacceptable. Thankfully, a simple solution does exist. Cursed blood pots. By throwing them on the ground right next to our wanted target, a glowing red insignia will appear on the affected enemy, at which point any spirits you have summoned will aggressively target and attack that enemy. Again, we can get the effect to proc by throwing it on the ground right next to the enemy, hence no damage will be dealt to anybody. Except maybe emotional damage to Renala, but we don't count that one. There we go. Beat her up boys! It's time to finish this fight I think. Yay! Let's go boys! I think they're just gonna destroy her aren't they? Yeah, the, the, they will just beat her up. The Revenant is almost dead, which I do not love. <laughs> They're just beating her up. Your summons are nothing, Renala. Nothing. You can pack that up and die. GG, boys. Renala down. Finally, after one and a half hours. With the second shard of the Elden Ring in our inventory, we can now access the capital. Before we go and do that, though, we go on another wild goose chase to collect even more upgrade materials and a whole lot more spirit summons. The results... Godric soldiers. Boys, we hit the jackpot! We have a fish- Oh, we summoned the fucking three sentinel! The three sentinel is in the house. I think we can't get a better spirit summon than this. Now I am 100% sure that this is the best mod ever created. <laughs> With the power of the ancient dragons, we now go and face the draconic three sentinel in combat. Hey Sentinel, meet your maker. <laughs> I like how we have a soldier of Godric and a scarab as well. This is just way too much madness unfolding. <laughs> Three Sentinel, you can do it. They're actually not doing too much damage. A battle for the ages, boys. A battle for the ages. Okay, the poor Draconic Three Sentinel is not having a time of a good time today. Oh. That's a lot of damage. I died. I actually died. Alright, this time you're going down, my boy. Let's heal. Also, Terof Tragov is very, very tank. He's tankier than Lanciax. Jesus Christ, what is even going on at this point? <laughs> okay, the Draconic 3 Sentinel is gonna bite the dust here. And he actually killed the 3 Sentinel. Jesus Christ. Tragov? Yes. GG. You are no match for my power. Ah, there you go. Two finger prayer book. Finally. Now we need the deathbed dress. Deathbed dress is here. Yeah, perfect. Lanciax, let's see. The scarab is here, boys. Three sentinel in the house. I think that I'm being a little bit confused, not gonna lie. I think Lanciax is just kind of glitching out here. Yeah, Lanciax is just... <laughs> the capital invasion all over again, boys. Okay, she's spamming the lightning attack. And her AI is completely broken. But if you summon closer to the middle of the room, I think it's just, she's just too big. She's gonna like get stuck every time she tries to turn around. Godfrey moves around way too much. Okay, Lanciax, your time to shine. Now that she's in the middle of the room, this might work out better. Might. Okay, the three sentinel does a... Okay, fire and flames, boys. Fire and flames. Let's go, Lanciax. Okay, now this is actually working out pretty well. 
Okay, they're beating him up, boys. Oh my god, the three settlers coming in. The cavalry has arrived. Man, let's go, Lanciax, you can do it. You have the power. Godfrey is just shredding her apart. What in the hell? Bro, Godfrey, what the hell? Why can't I get Godfrey as a summon? Oh, look at what he, what he does. He just destroys everybody. He's gonna kill her. He's actually gonna defeat her. This is actually so close. How oh, is this a close fight in for God's name? Lanciax is not doing her duty. How is all of that lightning not killing? Oh my God, Lanciax actually killed him. She actually killed him by the skin of our teeth. She has like no HP left. Let's see how Morgoth is gonna do. Like, we're just gonna start fighting him and we're gonna see how this is gonna go. We can summon Malani uh, Melina as well. I don't know why I'm focusing because I'm not even doing anything, but get him, get him to the tree. Get him to the tree of life. Okay, now the hero. Okay, he's actually trying to deflect Morgoth's attacks. If this Chad 3 Sentinel actually deflects one of Morgoth's attacks, I'm gonna crown him the Prince of All Saiyans. Need to get him here and heal. Bro, I must not die. If I die, everybody dies. <laughs> what the fuck was that? The perfect time to heal him is when Morgoth does the face to <laughs> They're just pushing him around. The insanity that's unfolding in this place is beyond any words to describe. Now the music, now the music actually fits Morgoth perfectly. <laughs> A truer battle has never existed. Melina is actually dodging everything, my god. Morgoth! See you in hell. Not gonna lie, Lanciax made this fight really easy to accomplish. But let's not fool ourselves here. We all know who is next after this. A very giant problem indeed. Before we continue on our journey though, we should really go and grab our real sacred seal. So we stop by Volcano Manor, where we collect the plus 5 somber smithing stone and the plus 6 somber smithing stone, and a bit further ahead in the castle we collect the Urtree seal. This is going to serve as our main seal during the rest of this run, so we hop on over to EG to upgrade this bad boy. Well, I think that was enough procrastination. Time to head over to the mountaintops of the giants. Thankfully, we can just run through the entirety of this place, and after a quick jump where Torrent experienced a conniption, we are ready to face the fire giant. Soldier, I'm gonna summon Lanciax inside of your ass. That is my goal for today. Lanciax, time for you to shine. Like, they do 88 damage to him. Like, Lanciax is not gonna work against him, because he's just such, such a different type of a boss. I mean, as much as they are confused fighting him, he's also confused fighting them. Alright, why is it always the fire giant that absolutely puts a stop into every one of my quote-unquote challenge runs? At first glance, this does seem 100% possible, but it would probably take me many hours of searching for more spirit summons and banging my head against a concrete wall. And that's not what this video is actually about. Since we are already using a mod, let us actually use the mod. Machette and I have decided that instead of torturing ourselves, we are going to re-randomize the spirit summons and tune the settings in a way that the minimum amount of companions summoned will be 10, turning an already chaotic run into absolute mayhem. Now that's what we are here for. Godric soldiers! Oh, they're still the same! Wait, they're not the same! Three rolls, boys! Sorry, I'm screaming, but I'm, I'm just so excited! Okay, Noble Sorcerer. Ta okay, guys! Malenia is in the house! Okay, this mod can actually summon bosses! Oh, this is cool! There is Rani! <laughs> Two giant scarabs, yeah. The hell did I just summon? The hell did I just summon? Why are they so big? <laughs> what? <laughs> I hope there is not a phobia against hands, guys, because... Rallocaria soldiers. What the fuck? <laughs> Who is this? Who are you? What the hell is this? This is Malania. Perfumer Tritia. Guys, <laughs> Horalu is in the house. I, I can summon bosses. I'm a happy man. We might try Horalu against this guy. Yeah, that was Horalu. Okay, we have a Crucible Knight and Horalu, so... Stomp on his head. He does no damage to him. I mean, he's done upgraded, but... These guys will definitely do it. How is the Fire Giant able to survive this, though? I think we're gonna go with Horalu for this one. I find it really funny 
that even with the goddamn first Elm Lord at our side, we still cannot quite defeat the Fire Giant. Why are you doing this to me, Miyazaki? Thankfully, it seems that if we upgrade this bad boy to the maximum, we should be probably fine. To do that though, we have to go to the Mogwin Palace to collect the upgrade materials needed. So let's make our way over there now. Since we cannot complete Vare's questline, cause I'm banned from online play and defeating Magnus is a no-go, we are going to have to go to the teleporter in the consecrated snow fields. Accessing that place requires both halves of the Halic Tree medallion. One is carried by our boy Albus in Lyurnia, and the other one is behind Commander Nial, located at Castle Sol. Once we have both, we can go to the road lift and ride the secret elevator to the secret path to the Halic Tree. From here, we ride northeast until we get invaded by the Sanguine Noble. We cannot spirit summon for this fight, so we will let our good boy Isaac Newton do the dirty work for us, by throwing ourselves off the side of the cliff. Now we have finally access to the teleporter. We ride through the Mogwin Palace and collect all the upgrade materials needed for future progress. Most notably, we grab the Great Ghost Glover. Now we go back to the round table, hold, wait... Oh no... <laughs> yeah, I completely forgot about this. If we pick up the secret medallion, Ensha invades us in the round table. And he doesn't disappear until he is defeated. And we can't spirit summon here. Well, let that be a lesson to you. If you do a passive run, don't go to the Helic Tree. I tried to solve our problems with him in a peaceful way, really. I tried. But some people just cannot be reasoned with. And at the end of the day, when all diplomacy fails, you just have to pull out a sharp stick and solve your problems that way. In any case, after that disaster was dealt with, we go and upgrade our preferred spirit summon to the maximum. Alright boys, let's get to work. Now they're starting to actually do work, this is pretty nice. Beat him up boys. Smack his knee. The first Elnor should be enough. The first Elnor cannot defeat the fire giant. I'm gonna be amazed. But he's going good. He's doing pretty well. The problem with the fire giant is that he has way too many AoE attacks. Okay, phase two. Get your asses over here. This is like a mythical fight already. I love how Horalu is doing 69 damage. Like, that's just perfect, right? I don't know if that's going to be enough. The fire giant has also a lot of health, especially with that attack. That attack is Cancer Incarnate. Look at how much damage he does. Come on, we are so close. I believe in you. Yes! They have overcome the greatest challenge of them all. The fire giant is dead. Okay, the first level Lord can defeat the fire giant. That's actually re reassuring in a lot of ways. <laughs> Aren't you worried about the duo? Not a single bit. And the duo is not going to be a problem at all. Let's go, boys! Time for madness! And I'm the... <laughs> and now we are ready. Okay, boys, let's go! Okay, now, now they're just dead, aren't they? Yeah. There is no way they will ever survive this. Let's go, boys! This is the, this is the true UFC event, guys, just so you know. <laughs> I love how this knight is just standing back. And we actually have a squirrel, like, I wondered why there is a squirrel over here, but here he is. Just imagine in a normal game, you summon Hora goddamn Lu. And he just does this to everybody. Bro, if Malikiv doesn't put up a struggle, oh my god. It's not me who approaches death to death, it's these boys. <laughs> oh my god, he's gonna die immediately, isn't he? Oh yeah, he's gonna die immediately, what the hell. He's dead! He, he's literally dead, like, okay. Raise your hand who thought that Malikev's gonna put up a struggle. Actually, he might. Actually, he's not going to. Wait, he already killed Horalu? What the hell? Malikev, you absolute menace. He's murdering Horalu in sleep. Bro, Malikev, what the fuck? He destroyed Horalu. The Crucible Knights might actually be able to still kind of deal with him pretty significantly. Nah, he's, he's dead. We just have too much power, like, overall. But he destroyed Horalu, I can't believe that. That actually really surprised me. GG, Jesus Christ. That scared me there for a minute. <laughs> oh, Gideon is just gonna get absolutely eviscerated. He's gonna be so funny. Uh, how do you like that, Gideon? Ah, oh, there he is, he grabbed him. Slam dunk, perfect. Revenge is sweet, but Horalu is sweeter. He picked him up and he slammed him down. Alright, Horalu against Horalu. Place your bets, boys. Pace yourself! The warrior has arrived. Wait, who is doing this? Godfrey, you, you've you been out of the gym way too long. Oh, Horalu! Where have I heard that name before? 
I wonder. <laughs> All right, who is doing the explosion? I don't know, and I don't care. He's actually trying to go phase 1.02. He actually staggered him, and the knight actually finished the job. Elden Ring is easy, guys. I told you before. All right. At this point, we could go and just beat up the final boss in a way that he would never be able to recover from. But I have an even better idea. We are going to re-randomize the summons again to find the most powerful one of them all. And well, the results will speak louder than any words that I have at my disposal. Moses! Let's go! <laughs> they are showering him! Ah <laughs> uh, yeah, this, this, this definitely takes us stupidity, guys, right? This is definitely stupid enough. I just can't. He's parrying the mooses. You will get me to the end of the game. How did Radagon not get staggered is beyond me. Come on, you mooses. Show your Canadian power. And GG. I just want to mention real quick, the mooses were unupgraded. And also with this randomization, we managed to get a rune bears, a chariot, a fucking pigeon again. I mean, it was totally nuts. I can't see absolutely anything. What is even going on at, the, at this moment right now? Did I stagger the Elden Beast? Oh, yes, they did. Uh, I'm out of everything. I believe in you. I'm gonna hang out here back with Azur, who is casting... What the fuck? Their AI is broken, boys. Their mooses are struggling to find purpose in their lives. And there we go. The mooses are victorious, boys. Elden Ring. Summon randomizer. Done.